It's time for another Out of Bounds Rewind with Bo Bounds on ESPN 105.9, The Zone. Roy Oswalt on the Out of Bounds Show. Where were you when you were either told or took the call that you were coming up to the big league team for the Astros? I was playing with uh, New Orleans um, Zephyrs. Yeah. And um, I had pitched about four or five games, started about four or five games. And I had pitched the game the night before um, and thrown, I think, seven innings, give up three runs. It was an okay start. It wasn't great. It wasn't by my, you know, my standards. But I was sitting in the dugout the next day after you pitch, you chart. So I was charting the next day's pitchers. And um, our general, I mean, our manager was um, Tony Pena. And he always had this phone with him that um, if that phone rang, we knew somebody was coming up or something was going on. So during the game, the phone rings. So everybody's like looking down, you know, who's who could get the call up, da da da. I really had no idea, you know. I was thinking, ah, I didn't throw real well, you know. They're probably gonna call me up, but I've been pitching pretty well except for that start. <clears throat> and uh, phone rings, and he looks down the thing, comes walking down there, and he, not really saying much, and then he said, "Meet me in the tunnel." I'm thinking, man, I just got released. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, know, you, you know, everything just, go through your mind, right? So um, I walked down in a tunnel. He said, you need to pack your bags. you got to be in Montreal in the morning. And it was just almost like um, That's I don't, the, the feeling that you get, it's almost like you're floating almost. You know, sure. it's just, you, you dreamed about this all your life. And the thing that was going through my mind was the craziest thing. But the next morning I get on the flight to go to Montreal, and all I can remember is just saying, please don't let this – plane crash before I get there. Just let me have one day. <laughs> right. One day in the big league. In the, in the show. Yeah. You know, right. You know, at least you get your name down that you've been in the show. And um, I flew to Montreal, and um, they had told me when I got there, you know, <clears throat> you're going to be in the bullpen at the very beginning. No, you've been a starter, but we're just going to get your feet wet till you get the hang of it, and uh, we'll go from there. Man, great. Sounds great to me. Let's yeah. go. You know, let's roll. So the next night, uh, we're winning by a lot. Uh, we're beating the Expos by 12 or 13 runs. And they called me in the eighth. And I've always been a star, so I had time to get ready. And they called me in the eighth and said, hey, going in the eighth. <laughs> and I'm thinking, man, I ain't even stretched or anything, you know. <laughs> so I jump up and I start stretching with Mike Jackson is in the bullpen with us, pitched for the Indians for a long time. And uh, he said, I'll jump up and get warm with you. If you're not ready, don't run out there and hurt yourself. I'll throw one out and then you can come in. <laughs> so, all right, so I, th I throw like – five or six throws, and I'm about to get on the hill. Well, he throws seven times off the hill, and the inning's over. And I'm like, I haven't even thrown a pitch off the mound yet. You know, he goes, I'll get the first out, and you come in after me. He goes out and throws four pitches and gets through the eighth inning. <laughs> oh, so I'm no. sitting there thinking, you've got to be kidding me, you know. So anyway, I'm like, well, I'll be ready for the ninth, you know. So I go out there in the ninth, and I pitch the ninth um, against the Expos. And actually, the first guy I got to face, or maybe the second guy I got to face, was um, Vladimir. And um, wow, I got the first strikeout with him, so it's pretty special. That's cool. So by the second day you're in the show, you pitch at Montreal for the Astros. We leave Montreal. That's the last day in Montreal, and the next day we're in Chicago facing the Cubs. You get you get to be in Wrigley with thirty eight thousand people there. That's amazing. Yeah, probably the was you it? Know, it. I've never been there. You know, I never got to go see the Cubs play before. So the first time I actually at Wrigley, I'm on the field which is pretty special. And I actually, they called me in the office after the Montreal said, that's what we want, through strikes, and went right after them. That's what we're looking for. Sounds great. You know, that's what I can do. Right. So the next day, we're in Wrigley. Uh, it's the eighth inning. Scott Ellerton's pitching. He's winning three to one. We have one guy on, one out, and they call down the bullpen and says, if the next guy gets on, you're coming in. And I'm thinking to myself, you just told me last night that I'm only coming in blowouts or if we're winning by a lot. <laughs> so, you know, he said, uh, well, if the next guy gets on, Sammy's coming up and you're facing Sammy. So Great. This is the, I get to go see Sammy Sosa. Yeah. So second day, third day I'm in the big leagues. Um, I'm facing Sammy Sosa with two guys on and we're winning by two in Wrigley with two outs. And... Um, I remember walking out on the field, and it's 38,000 people. They're going nuts, you know, because Sammy's hitting 60, I think, that year, close to 60. So, Tony Asago was actually catching that game. Brad Osmus wasn't catching that game. He comes walking out and said, throwing all fastballs. 
I said, man, that's what I can do. Let's go. So end up throwing, um, I think, four fastballs, and I struck him out on a fastball high. Wow. It was amazing how it, the sound level changed in that place, too. It was like I you bet. couldn't hear anything to, whew, you know, just sucked it out of it. Pretty neat. Yeah. Don't miss one moment of the Out of Bound Show with Bo Bounds. Weekdays, 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. On ESPN 105.9. The Zone.